Hey everybody, welcome to the video where I show you how I plumbed in my garden boxes. I'm using 5 8 black tubing and then the quarter inch line that I just moved out of the way. Um, we drilled a hole and then just shoved the tubing up through the bottom of the box. And then I'm just measuring and um, putting in a, a whole 5 8 line along the entire box and then um, I'm going to cut it to length and then add another elbow uh, to the end there. I'll try not to get any dirt in your tubing because it's harder to get out. Well, harder to flush I guess. Alright. So, I didn't really plan this as, f wow, this is the first time I've done a voiceover and it's kind of hard to think and talk quickly. I'm not a fast talker to begin with, <laughs> so bear with me. This is my first time doing a voiceover. This video really is just for someone that uh, um, is new to irrigation and, and they're just looking for a basic um, how to do it. What does it really look like? It's really not that hard. Um, I found most of my supplies at Lowe's. They have uh, inside the tubing elbows and they have outside the tubing elbows and joints. They have T-joints, um, straight ones, you know, just basic things to, to make, to turn corners and stuff. So the, in this box I'm doing, um, I'm using the elbow joints to, to go around the corners and instead of bending the tubing. As you can see there, it, it kind of wrecks the tubing and then there's not very good water flow. So I'm going to cut that off and then I'm going to put the joint in there. Um, and then we're going to go along the front side of the box also and then close it off at the end, just folding it over and putting um, a PVC uh, sleeve over it, I guess. There are like actual um, little connectors or uh, I guess like a clip that you can put at the end of the tubing but that's just another piece to buy a special piece so it you can you can honestly just fold it over and like tape it with electrical tape um, I know it's important to make sure that all of your cuts are straight, so that was what I just did there. And then, you know, cutting off the end there and folding it over. Uh, these boxes, we didn't we didn't build them. Uh, they are just these old boxes that my husband got from work that had like huge equipment in them. So those um, two by four pieces actually keep the box from collapsing. <laughs> uh, okay, so I got these half circle sprays, like I'm showing, it's, that's the direction of the spray. There's a whole bunch of different kinds of sprinklers out there. Um, the little ones that are just do a tiny area, the half circles are great for boxes so that it's not uh, hitting the sides too much. So I can just kind of line them up on one side of the box and um, make the water go exactly where I want it to go. That sweet little tool there holds on to the, um, the little part that uh, punches into the, to the large tubing. And then you just kind of wiggle and push the quarter inch line into it. And just kind of twist it around until it kind of sits flat. When the tubing heats up, in the hot sun, it, you know, it usually calms down a little bit. So I'm just measuring, kind of guessing. I'm leaving them long because I can um, move them around where to, to like better places if it's if it looks better, or you know, if a plant needs more water, I can just pick it up and move it. So that's where I'm guessing everything is. And then we're gonna just keep going. I'm pretty sure I got that tool at Lowe's also, a big box store. Maybe I shouldn't say the 
actual name of the store. I don't know what the rules are here in YouTube anymore. <laughs> but this is a pretty benign, uh, non-confrontational -conf video. <laughs> Just learning how to irrigate stuff and grow your own foods. Uh, later on, I do show you what I am going to plant there. It's mostly just like, you know, lettuces, things that can grow in the shade. I live in a pretty hot, dry area in the summertime. I need lots of water. We actually have an irrigation line so um, from the river. So, uh, yeah. Gotta make sure my plants get water. We usually have zero to one or two days of actual rain in the summertime. Rarely does it rain. And how they're talking about this might be a drought season. This is going to be really necessary. All right. So these little heads adjust like if you twist them open more, they they spray farther. So I'm just adjusting and you know get landscaping staples to sh to you know prevent them from going all over the place i'm probably going to speed up most of this video because i think you get the gist of it um i do another box oh wait here this is how i um, reuse the sprinkler head i'm cutting off that little quarter inch line trying not to stab my fingers there we go so now I can reuse it those things are really brittle they snap off real easy so I was trying to be careful all right so let's speed up the video I just finished the chatting in the last quarter inch dubing and sprinkler and you really don't need to watch this in slow motion. <laughs> um, and then I'll just show you what I'm planting. Because for funds. Those are all edible flowers. Oh, except for the dahlias. Don't eat those. I'm going to plant those in the other box that I will show you shortly. All right about now. Okay, so in this one, I am not using the elbow joints because I ran out. I did have to extend my tubing with a single joint, or like a straight one, you know. And then I just cut it to length, put the little PVC tubing in there, put on some quarter inch pipe tubing, and attach some sprinklers that I really don't like, but I'm going to change them. They're not like the... Um, the other ones because I ran out of those, but I can easily change them by cutting them off and going to the big box store and getting some different sprinklers, which I should probably just do today. It's in the center there, it's onions, and then I'm going to do the flowers on the on the two edges. You know, just chuck that anywhere. <laughs> It goes really fast, honestly, once you get, you know, everything together. So, um, thanks for watching and, uh, happy gardening.